Hello guys and girls, I'm Tyler and you're on the Genius Invictus channel for a top 5 airsoft tips video. Now these tips are strictly for those starting out in airsoft. It can be for those who have played once or twice or even for those who have played regularly. I'm no expert myself but these 5 tips I'm going to give you are not only from myself but are also from others in the community who have done this a lot longer than I have. So. With all that said, let's get right into it. All right, everyone, so of course, starting off with the first tip in the video, it is not to be afraid and to just jump straight into it. Now, of course, this is geared a lot more toward those of you out there who are just getting into the world of Airsoft who may be a bit antsy about actually going to play. Now, this can be for a variety of reasons, such as not having people to go with, not knowing where to start, and many other contributing factors which can dissuade you from going. Now, I know this is a lot easier said than done, but my advice is to just go. Even if you're by yourself, the airsoft community on the whole is a very welcoming community. So, moving on to my second tip for getting into airsoft is to buy your gear from a local store if you have the option to. If not, then get it from a well-known brand as such. And the reason I say this generally comes down to your overall cost during your airsoft career or hobby. Over the years, wear and tear will be a constant enemy to your tack gear. So while the five pound <laughs> pair of camo trousers on the internet may be an amazing deal, if their quality isn't up to the standard you want, you may very well end up spending more money constantly replacing them rather than if you bought a better quality pair for £20 instead. And this is the primary advantage of going to a store. You can feel the actual material and the quality of what you are buying and if it's a piece of clothing you can buy in, you can try it on and see if you like the fit of it. Furthermore, the staff at these stores will be a lot more useful than the descriptions that the internet provides. I can tell you that now from personal experience. You can question them literally about anything and everything you need to get the item that's perfect for you. So while I personally shop at Urban Airsoft, which is a local store in my area in West Yorkshire, which is actually one of the, I think it's one of the UK's biggest airsoft stores now. And that's literally down the road from where I live. So I got really lucky there. And uh, the guy who is helping me make this video actually works there as well. Just a quick shout out to him. Uh, Josh cheers mate. So yeah, I shop at Urban Airsoft which is really local to me It is really whatever store is local to you really such as patrol base Which is another UK based store, which is a really big store But in the US there are stores such as Evo Red Wolf So there will always be more than likely be a store nearby your local area and if not you do have the online option but make sure you get it from places that are trusted in the airsoft community now for my third tip about getting into airsoft which i really see more of a general philosophy of the sport is don't take it too seriously now what i mean by this is don't get upset or angry at others for what they do even if it's cheating so if you do encounter a cheater on the field just inform a marshal don't make a fuss about it and just continue the game and have fun the marshals are there to help and will not stand for cheating but also don't feel like you need the best gear to be the best you don't have to look like a real soldier to have fun dress however you want i've seen people play dressed as mario darth vader and even the easter bunny you'll have a lot more fun in general just remember it is a sport and a game and you won't enjoy it if you get angry or upset at the standards of yourself and your kit now on to number four this is the most important one do not cheat Need I say more? This is an honor spot, meaning that if you get hit, everyone is relying on you to call it and nobody likes a cheater. Cheating is a fruitless gaming choice to avoid literally counting a few seconds and walking back to spawn. And doing it can result in bans or at the very least having a martial folly around the whole field. So guys, don't cheat and just have fun the right way and all will go well for you in the world of airsoft. You wouldn't take a real bullet to the chest and not call a medic would you let's be honest and now for my final tip of the video this is more of a, a warning to you guys who have never played now i don't want to be all beating around the bush at airsoft it's great and everything because there is downsides to it and this is one of them it hurts like sometimes it hurts not all the time it's not like an excruciating pain sometimes when you get hit in the fingers in the ears oh my god the ears the lips the neck especially when it's cold as well it can be so painful anywhere else on the body such as like your chest or anything doesn't hurt that much at all it stings for about two seconds might have a red mark there at morning and move on with your life 
So guys, did I miss anything? If there's any other tips you recommend for those getting started, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe for more Airsoft content. It's Airsoft season, baby. So get your eye pro on and we'll see you on the field. Peace out.